Go High Level Wizard here, and now I'm going to be going over setting up webinars inside of Go High Level. This is an amazing new feature, and I'm telling you, it's going to save you a lot of money. So we're going to go really in-depth, set up, going live, all of that. Before we jump in, though, go right down below, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Okay, to access webinars, we're going to go right down to sites, and we're going to click in right here. So all we're going to do is click new webinar funnel. That's all we do. Now you have two options. You have on demand funnel, which is a pre-recorded webinar and then live webinar, which is a live webinar where you'll actually connect a third party, whether it's zoom or any of these other things to go live. So it's kind of weird. They don't have it in house yet for the live, but you'll pick either or. So we're going to start with this. We're going to click continue and then you're going to be brought to this page. So first we're going to name this. So we're just going to call this wizards webinar. You put in whatever name you want. Next, next you're going to select a form. Okay, so in Go High Level, you have to have a form built out. Full video on that if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this is going to be the form that they go through and register with. So make sure it has name, address, all the stuff you would need to collect from them on that form. So we're going to click this and we're going to click lead form. Then we're going to click next. Okay, now you're going to select a file. So you need the pre recorded video. So we're just going to click this. Okay, we're going to click upload. We're going to click this. We're just putting in a random video for now. It's one of my YouTube videos. You're going to put in the exact video you need right in here and just upload it just like I did by clicking upload. So now it's going to be right here. You're going to double click it and then it's going to say this right here and then we just wait till it's, oh, <laughs> it's done quite fast. So now that it's done like that, we're just going to click next. And then you're going to pick the template you want. So you can do blank, you can do DIY uh, home renovation, financial planning, or e-commerce marketing. And again, you can take these and just tweak them and switch them up, which is cool. For the sake of this video, we're just going to click e-commerce marketing. Um, this is just going to be blank and have nothing on it. But again, I'm going to show you some tricks to spice this up. But again, you pick what you want. And then we just click create. So look at that. It's created and it's all right here. So what you can do is you can add a new page like that if you want to, but it's going to have these three pages. So it's going to have webinar registration, which is how you access webinar. Remember the form we added in right here? That's going to go, it's going to plug in. Then we have webinar confirmation, which is this page. This is going, thank you for filling out said form. And then we'll have the webinar itself on the page for them to watch. Um, which can have the call to action or whatever you're trying to do to sell them. Again, I don't know what you're doing with your video sales letter or I don't know what you're trying to do here, but that's how you would connect it. That way they have something to go to and then to watch. So as you see right here too, there's some basic stuff. This is gonna have your stats, so page views, opt-ins, how many people fill in the form, orders if you have products connected. Remember, you can do that if you're selling something, like a product in high level, you can sell that. So this is just gonna have all of your analytics, so to speak, on the webinar, which is really nice. And you see it in stats. And again, you can play with the dates right here. Sales, if you have a product plugged in, this is gonna just you know pre-populate right here and show you. Have security, you can add stuff to the header depending on what you're trying to do. Events, this is just gonna go through you know tracking and, and stuff like that. And then you have basic settings, which is the name, the domain, the favicon, the header tracking, all this basic stuff. I'm assuming you understand this because this is just like a website or a funnel. So it's the same exact thing. So again, if you don't know anything about Go High Level and you're brand new, go to my channel and watch my full website videos. so you understand the rubric of high level, which is stuff like this, so you understand how that all works. But I'm assuming you do, so let's continue. So we're gonna come right back to pages and we're just gonna go through each of these so they're ready for you to go. So first we're gonna start with webinar registration. So we're gonna come right in here. What I recommend you do is you delete the headers entirely um, from here. Why? You don't want people leaving. Um, you just don't. And delete the footer. So on all these pages, we want to delete that. So we got rid of it on the webinar uh, registration. We're going to do the webinar confirmation. We're going to get rid of this. And the blank doesn't have this, but again, we don't want this because it's just going to cause issues. And then we do on the webinar broadcast, we're going to get rid of this. This is just best practice. Again, you don't have to do this. I recommend you do because um, you don't want people losing and going all over the place. It's just a distraction. For your forms, right? You can click the form right here and go, okay, pick the form. We come right here. We can pick which form we want. I already have the form I wanted. Again, you have to go into forms under sites to build this out. I have a full video on forms if you don't understand what I'm talking about. So please go do that. But you're going to need a form. If you're not e-commerce, make sure you go through and you tweak everything. You click stuff, you change the colors, you put in your picture and you add your info. Okay. Again, website video to show you how to do all of this. I'll link that at the end of this video so you understand how this works because it's the same as the website in the funnel builder. 
Okay, and in this video, I'm just showing you how to do webinars. I'm not showing you how to do all this basic stuff. That's in that video. So I'll link that at the end. But this is just, you go through just like the website, all the same rubric, all the same building blocks, and you're just going to build this out to your specifications. What you want in it, having video testimonials, whatever you want, you're just going to customize it. Same with this. I mean, we don't really need anything with this. And this one should be good. But everything is pretty much done. It's all good. And what you can do too, depending on your webinars, you can have a call to action in the video. You can have a call to action down below, maybe another form or book a free call, whatever you're trying to push them to, you just add it. So again, these are the three pages. You got the webinar registration, the webinar confirmation, and the web webinar broadcast. And they're all through here in your webinar. So you want to make sure you go through, you click edit, edit in new tab, pull through and get them all the way you want it. So make sure they look good and then they're ready to go. And by the way, you can just come right back here. And so you have the full thing. You can add new uh, webinar right here, or you can come in here and you can edit, clone, delete, do whatever you want here. Um, but first we have to go through this because now we're going to be making this live. So make sure you go through all of these and you make them match your specifications so they look good and they're ready to go. So now that you have this all good to go, we're going to go to settings. And we're going to make the webinar live. We're going to pick davidplumbingandsons.com. All right, we're going to do that. And then the, the path is just going to be Wizards Webinar. You can add whatever you want there. But once this looks good, you then come down and click Save. Guys, this is a funnel, basically. It's, it's a website. You have to have it live. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. So you have to add the domain. Then from there, if we bring this up, you can see right here that the URL is, in fact, right. Just like this. You see that up there? It is now live. That way you can copy and paste this and send this to someone and they can access the webinar. It's some preview page. So that's it. It's as simple as that. That's how you get a pre-recorded webinar. You go through, you pick which one you want, you fill out this stuff, you come through just like I did, set all this stuff up, make all the pages look good, and then plug in your domains just like I did, and then you're good to go. Now we're going to go through creating a live webinar, which is something that's happening right now. So we're going to click the same thing, new webinar, but we're going to click live webinar, and then we're going to click continue. So very similar. You're going to pick the webinar name. We're going to do Wizards Live. Okay, you pick the time zone. We're going to do America, New York, and then you pick what time zone. So we will do Christmas Day, and <laughs> we'll click that. Okay, and then we're going to click next. Again, you select the form you're going to want for this. You click next. Then here's where you have to add the live link. So this is whether you're using Zoom or whatever you're using, you're going to have to add something in here. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be adding anything because this is just a test. But the, the live webinar link isn't coming through Go high level. It has to be used for third party as of right now. Supposedly, they're going to be adding in like a feature where you can actually do it within high level. Um, but as far as live webinars, you still have to use other webinar platforms or live platforms to plug this in. So put whatever you're in, zoom.com. Again, that's not it, but I'm just showing you. Same thing. You pick what you want. We'll just do blank and you click create. It's that simple. But again, you have to have that live link to plug in to get this to be live. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, even about webinars, what that even is, or if you have anything about, you know, this in general, setting these up, just drop a comment down below. I answer so fast. I'll get you taken care of. That way you can get all your, your, your burning questions answered. But from there, it's the same exact thing. Okay. You go right in here or you can click this and you're looking at the same thing, the same exact thing. This is a blank one, but the three pages, just like I went through before, but except with this one, you're going to have a date where it's live. And then you want to send out the link to marketing for it to get people to come in. And again, I have full video on all of these things in high level, so you can really master this. Um, but I'm assuming you understand what this is, but if you don't, please go through my channel so you have an understanding of high level um, because that is most important. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in learning more about high level, I have a 30-day free trial link down below. Not a 14-day, an exclusive 30-day free trial link where you'll get access to me if you sign up. you get access to my snapshots, access to live stream, private community, all of this amazing stuff that's going to help you sell clients and move on your journey. Um, so go down below and check that out because, again, you're going to need help with high level. So, again, if you have any questions at all, anything you're wondering, go right down below, drop a comment. I will answer. I answer very fast. You can ask me anything at all. Um, or if you're more interested, you can message me for free on Facebook and we can get a conversation started. So again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, go high level wizard.